you are embroiled in an adventure of your own. If we zoom in back to the southeastern Iron Archipel Archipelago, outside of the Arcadian Islands, where we find ourselves underground, though not far underground. You're just barely underground at this time. Normally you would be much deeper beneath the surface, but now you are, are merely in a set of catacombs. You're in a basement. You're in the basement to a tower. Specifically, the core of a basement to a tower. A tower <laughs> dedicated to a dragon from a death cult. So we have you know, me, I'm a dwarf, and then we have a drow, and what, what, are, what are the races the that you guys? I feel like they're also human. like underground things. No, I'm human. Oh, you, we have a human? So is, is your character like itching to get to the surface after, you know, all this time underground? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. Nope. Yeah. I'm at home. Yeah. He's a hermit anyway. Yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a necromantic uh, vampire's tower. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, okay. He's like a wizard. I'll kill him, take his stuff. I'm looking forward to this. Exactly. You want, want like a breath of sweet fresh air? Nah. I'd choose yeah. the tomb over the over that any day. Yep. So hopefully you guys have had a chance to uh, review your character sheets and whatnot, uh, because we will be starting. Um, Fairly strongly out the gate, you finally made your way into the core of the Night Fang Spire, having come in search of the mythic Fist of Moradin, the dwarven relic created by the architect of the dwarven city of Stonehome. You all hoping to regain the artifact so that you may control the great guardians outside of the gate of this, the dwarven city to help you reclaim its sister city of Embla and then lay siege, perhaps, to the drow, the drow city of Holth itself. Not Hoth, but Holth. <laughs> it's hard for me to say. Not Loth, but Holth. Yeah. yeah. Off name. <laughs> A friend. <laughs> Lol. So hopefully you all remember that. Why don't we roll the uh, D100. In the chat bar. And see who gets the free reroll for, for tonight. But not that anyone Ooh. is going to need it though. I mean tight. 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 So they're there for the taking Mike. And you couldn't do it. No. I ain't that. Oh. <clears throat> Look at that. It's the end here. So close. so close. Look at that. Oh, the NPC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't count, yeah. but I always like to roll for him, though. Maya can have it. He might need it. He died mm. almost yeah. twice. You can always die. die. <laughs> how, many, how many times can Maya die? <laughs> I did not die. Stop saying that. So, if I remember correctly... All of you guys had, you had, you, you, okay, you, you opened the core by using the dragon key, okay, and it rotated around, rotated around, rotated around. Um, you had already encountered the uh, nest of vampire spawn that were, that were hidden there because they had uh, come out in their mist form and then attacked you. So when the core opened, it was empty, uh, but you, you looked inside and saw the hole leading up into the center of the tower proper um, and on our map that is represented by the little manhole cover there in the center that's the hole but you guys had all gone up to the ceiling beneath it so nobody has actually gone through the hole as yet where was uh, Crag heading to he's like making his way up yeah he was crawling up uh, the tunnel. I can't remember if he actually had made it all the way to the top yet or not, but yeah, he was uh, crawling through the stonework uh, up to where we were. Okay. And you guys have flown up to the hole. Okay, so looking up through the hole, the um, 
I'll remind you of the geography again. So there's that little alcove there to the right, which is really uh, t telling you a lot with, without somebody actually moving through the hole. But there's that mist-filled alcove, and then 50 feet above, there's a, a catwalk, and then at the very ceiling, so a good 95 feet above, that's a 100-foot ceiling from the hole, is where the, the heart is suspended. Which you can uh, vaguely see glowing. It's glowing in like a pale blue-black flame. There's necromantic energy just all per pervasive throughout the area. And that brings us up to speed. So, Simon, what are you doing? I, just, I think Simon had just reached the top. Um... <laughs> I guess he's going to try to peer through this mist to the to the east. Okay, so you go up through the hole. Yeah. Okay, so for there you see uh, that the alcove is is shrouded in mist. There's a little desk and a chair there. Why would it be shrouded in mist? Could that be a vampire in mist in gaseous form? Would be. I guess I'd, he's just like staring at the mist, trying to like prepare it to. I think he thinks it's about to become a vampire and jump out at him. I guess you could say he readies an attack to smash the mist if it comes at them. Okay. <laughs> I think I was in the process of trying to identify the magic. I was told what type of spell it was. Where are you? I, was, uh, I, I think it was just in the. I had complete the first round. Yeah, where are you though? Where's your huh? Where's your character? Right here. Oh, okay. You're covered up by the okay. Well hidden underneath. Um, I think you guys had gotten through it because we talked about the uh, mist, didn't we? You said they could look through the mist. Is that was that the spell? Oh, is it just the first? Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah, so, yeah. That was okay, it. So, okay, yeah, they yeah. looked through the mist. So, yeah, I think we had gotten okay. through the rounds. Yeah. But whoever was doing it could actually see through it, correct? Yeah. Gotcha. That it was linked to those um, runes throughout the, the tower, the Golthias tree runes. Okay. Mythander, what do you do? I still have three potions of resist energy electricity. Okay. Anyone want some before Snorri gets his dick handed again? <laughs> Snorri will take one. <laughs> I'm getting dick handed again. <laughs> yep. I'll take one. <laughs> what is it? Resist energy electricity. Uh, I mean, I guess we. He might have more of that spell. Yeah. Is that um, is that uh, resist twenty or fifteen? Um, no, twenty. Twenty, cool. I think we all would take one of those. It'd be smart, and would not it? We have enough. Unless he's out of that spell for today. <clears throat> no, that that are potions, not extract. Okay. I'll take one. All right. Simon, you want, yeah. or should I give it to Maya? Oh, uh, if we only have enough, I think Maya should have one. We don't want him to uh, get seriously injured again. Well, he could have mine then. You take it. You guys aren't that good against the electricity. I can resist a little bit, but if we're only gonna have three, and if you're not gonna take it, you might as well. Did you have an electric personality as well? Uh, Alright, we'll take it. Uh, are we drinking it now or are we going to wait until something starts throwing lightning at us? Uh, <laughs> drink it now. <laughs> drink it now. Snorri All spends right. his turn drinking it. <laughs> okay. And it over. It's got a zip to it. Is Lucian doing anything during, during this? During the drinking? Drinking I, of the seven, I got seven. I'm just, you know, I got seven images already up because I think I prepped right before we 
right before we closed off last time. Okay. Um, yeah, so I got seven activated images. Um, did we already, did you already describe what we were, what we saw within the mist? Or this uh, area well, here? the alcove itself is just that, it's just misty. The wide, circular chamber ceiling hangs almost 100 feet above the floor. Again, now this means you're looking through the hole here. If you're reading, if I'm reading this to you, okay. The, the wide, circular chamber ceiling hangs almost 100 feet above the floor. A 15-foot diameter, coal black, heart-like organ hovers near the ceiling without obvious support. The naked heart burns with what appears to be black fire, which may be the source of the biting cold. About halfway up the walls, at a height of 50 feet, a 10-foot wide catwalk girds the interior of this massive cylinder. It is impossible to make out what might be on the catwalk surface from your vantage point. The floor is empty except for a metallic hatch in the center of the floor through which you're peering, and a wooden chair facing a wide, mist-filled alcove to the east. You know what? From the outside, it never occurred to me that this tower would just be hollow on the inside. Yes, I pictured more rooms. Alright, so I guess we're all flying. Is that how we're getting up there? Yeah. Yes. But Fine. meanwhile, do we trust this room? It's like a desk and some fog. That looks really suspicious. Are we on to a new round, Jamie? Uh, yeah, we'll click through the round here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up a shield spell. <clears throat> what is Simon doing? Uh, I guess uh, he well he he I guess in time he would have grabbed that potion and drank it, and now he's back staring at the fog. I don't oh. trust this fog. It's only a vampire. It's only a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. be a rather large one, though. I'm going to drink a potion of Cat's Grace. And a potion of Hide from Undead. Oh, two in one round. You crafty bastard. Wait for the next round if I can. <laughs> I, I don't think you can drink two in one round just because you have to get them out and drink them. So, just one. Yeah. We'll do we we'll do cast grace first. Okay. I got a bunch of spells I want to get up. I'm just kind of waiting for the rounds to tick by. <laughs> uh, okay, Maya will go up through the hole, and he's going to cast Good Hope. Actually, he'll stay close to. Uh... So he'll cast Good Hope for everybody. Okay. So you get Take your down. Your plus two from that. All right, a mage armor, shield, face. Not yet. Good hope. Yes, this place is cold and creepy. We need all the hope we can get. And some ale. We could do with some ale, but for now, hope we'll do. This is where he wiggles his fingers and says, Good hope. <laughs> That's the worst part about the D D movies is they don't <laughs> they don't embellish the casting or anything, so all the spells are So what exactly is the um controller for the golems what is it what is it exactly does it look like because that's what we're here for we're not here really here to kill it's a warhammer it's a warhammer okay mm -hmm. yeah it's called the fist of something so i'm assuming it's like fist a fist shape like is it moradin yes moradin moradin okay. you have to roll it roll your arse man it's not for, I, I for human not from tongue your backward berg <laughs> Roll your arse. <laughs> Stick it up your own arse. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if uh, another roll, another round takes by, I'm going to pop up a mirror image. Uh, what is uh, Mythander doing? 
previous round there before we get past shield spell okay Simon what are you doing um I don't really have much to do I'm just intently staring at the fog trying to like ready I guess I again ready an attack to attack anything that comes out of the fog so our only um so who went up through the hole is it only I'm up Simon the hole. okay Oh, am I the only yeah. one on? Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah oh, my God, idea. By the way, Craig's been slowly climbing up the wall. He may be, be able to double move up top now, too. So, okay. I'm assume he's on the floor. Floor of this room, okay. What about the uh, elves? <laughs> Where are you guys? In, <laughs> already I, was, I will go too. I was the first one up, so I've already been up here. Okay. Mythander. Okay, yeah, so everybody's up. Okay, just want to make sure we understand the geography yep. of where he is. Okay. Yeah, so we're all in the room, I think. Yeah, okay. right, very good. Fog really dangerous, guys. Perhaps I should check out this desk. Careful. Fog. What do you see in the the mist, Lucian? Your magic. It can, someone that can using the mist to look through. We may want to dispel it. The trap, or is it just an anchor of sorts? Uh, or... We said it was. Uh, <laughs> I, my studies have said it was a divination spell. And they could get well, but the, the, the caster can see through it. Hmm. They've been watching us. Of course, he's watching us. He's watching us right now. He's probably, probably casting spells on himself as we speak. It's... I'm gonna cast. Well, mythic invisibility. See invisibility wouldn't work, would it? Because no. you encounter it. Okay, so I'm, I'm just... seeing or that magical, special magical dust. Yeah, I'm stymied on that. Snow, do you think a normal fairy fire would help? I don't believe so. Thought so. How, how difficult is that spell? Don't know. It's not easy. Don't talk about fairy fire. First level? Not powerful enough. Yeah, it's not, not powerful enough then. Okay, Snorri will walk into the mist. Okay. And make his way towards the desk. I'll get up, um... If it's a new round, I'll cast uh, Detect Magic. If not, I just walked in. Drink is hide from undead. <clears throat> okay, so when you walk into it, you feel the magic in there. Uh, you feel like you could access it if you want to. Okay, I will try to. Okay, what do you try to see? Um... Like a location? Mm -hmm. uh, all I really want to see is this room here. So I'll, I'm going to try and, and see see what's on the catwalk <clears throat> remotely. That doesn't work. You can't doesn't see work. anything. It yeah. doesn't work like that. Into okay. Here. No. Okay. So and you have I'll, a sense. I won't try uh, and access anything outside of this tower. I'm locked in on this tower right now. I don't want to be somewhere else and have him appear. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, so it's going to take your action for the round, but it, it, that's fine. You you get the sense that you can access you know the areas within the tower, but it's where you've seen the the tree rooms. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. So control central. Exactly, Lucian. What are you doing? So is that a, the 
basically this the only thing in the room? Yeah, On the floor, uh, yeah, just this I'll alcove, describe. and then there's a catwalk above you about 50 feet I'll up. Just, yeah, I'll, I'll describe. describe. If I wanted to, Lucy, and I could peer through the runes, the tree runes from here. So this is probably where he sits and watches. He could be standing right here right now, and I wouldn't know it. Okay. He probably is here. <laughs> um. He's definitely in this room. We're talking about you. Maybe our stonemason can sense him. Uh, sure. I'll uh, activate my uh, my uh, what tremor sense. Do I sense any of anybody else uh, standing on the stone here? How far out does it reach? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's thirty feet. Like a move action. Uh, pretty much what you see right. on the board there. You just feel the movements of your companions. I guess it would also theoretically pick up anybody standing on the walls, you know, over here to the east. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. I don't sit anyone on the ground. These wizards can fly. We dead. I guess we can go on to the next area. <laughs> Good to check out his desk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the desk, dude. Let's do our normal. What kind of paperwork would one of these guys have to do anyway? Ah, it's a lot of bookkeeping. You'd be okay, so stop there. So this is... Okay. You guys can make a perception check if you like. <laughs> what do I think? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves perception checks. Yeah. Hmm. One decent one in it. Out of it. This of us rolled fairly low. Oops. <laughs> well, I rolled a six, so. It's about mm -hmm. as yeah, fifty fifty for me. We so we probably <laughs> don't see anything. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Hey, good electricity, good good thing you guys had it. Yeah. Yep, so lightning bolt rains down from uh above hitting uh Simon and Lucian. All right. Uh, so you can apply whatever defenses you have, and you can reflex save for half or to negate. Oh my god, I can't roll good tonight. So 21 probably not enough, is it? Might be. Uh, oh, so it's 35 oh. electric. Uh, yeah, 25 is, uh, 21 is enough. Okay. Alright, so half that, that would be, uh... Did, it, did anyone appear? And then we had the resistance from, uh, electricity, right? And that was, what level? Was it 10 mm -hmm. or 20? 20. Alright, so it uh, zeroes out. Alright, cool. Yep. Uh, well, you can tell from, uh from where it came from i mean you can look on your turn it came from over overhead from the uh from the balcony so hmm. let's see if i have this spell. from not the balcony but the catwalk rather it's a catwalk 10 foot wide catwalk 50 feet up uh methander what do you do i will do, drink an extract resist energy electricity Actually, you know what? Uh, hold that. Let's um, let's have you guys re-roll initiative here, since that's a okay. new start. Let's go ahead and click on your character. Hmm. 
Oh, Snorri's rocking it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get Maya up here. Okay. So, Mithandrids, uh, hold that and we'll go in um, initiative order here. Lucien. Give me one second. Let's see. Second. I just want to look at a spell's ability. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fly up. Okay. Um, with fly, I didn't get a chance to look up. What's the movement on fly? Is it 60? 60 feet? Yeah. I'm gonna go up to where I can see. I'm going to go up, and since it, it shot, it looked like it came from that direction on the catwalk, I'm going to go up to the catwalk. Uh, how high, the catwalk, 30 feet above? 50. 50 feet. 50, 50 feet, and I'm going to go 10 feet away. So, I guess the equivalent would be going here. Whatever, I don't know which side, of, how it's going across, if it's this way, or how it's shaped, but just so I can peer. And then I'm going to roll perception to see if I see anything. <clears throat> you don't know how what's shaped. I mean, if it, what direction the catwalk is in? Like, if it's going across the, the thing, is it going around? It's it? right overhead. If if you look at on the map, it's um, the next map over to the right. That's what that's oh. the overhead map. Okay, I got a big. I'm sorry, let me shrink it down. Yeah, that's the overhead map. So when you get up to the the catwalk level, that's what you can you can see there. Oh, okay. Got you. So. So about 45 feet above you is the disembodied heart, which is burning with a cold black flame. And you are level with the 10 foot wide stone catwalk. Now where you are, you are like right there next to the edge of it. Yeah, I'm going to go like to here. You want right. to back up. I'm going up to the upper level, I guess the upper level. Yeah, and... you just move your character over there. Okay. That's what the right yeah, that's here. the upper level map. Okay. The ten foot wide stone catwalk is cluttered with several bookshelves, a few wide tables heaped with apparatus, small boxes, crates, and other containers. There are also a few comfortable chairs scattered about. Everything is lit with a dim dim light. And then, since I just moved up, I'm going to cast Invisibility. Okay. In turn. Hmm. Not in turn, I'm going to do Perception, just see if I see what I see. I know you described it. Okay, make a Perception him. check. <laughs> Basically, which I, I'm assuming he's staying invisible. But, you never know. I might get lucky. See something else, then something else. Probably got a greater going. Ah, now that roll. 19. Yeah, so you don't exactly see anything with that. Okay. But from what you could tell, it came from, from here. Okay. In turn now. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those 
multi-leveled encounters. So you have to like... Oh, yeah. As people go up, you have to look up and down. It's like 3D chess, tri-level chess. Mm-hmm. Snorri, what do you do? Uh, stone skin and um, I'll just take a quick perception on his desk to see if he's got anything out that he didn't have time to stash. <laughs> 14. Yeah, Martha. <laughs> the days in the tower have been so droll. <laughs> uh, you you see a few writing implements and whatnot, but nothing uh, that seems significant, like right. blank scrolls and quill and ink and things. I will stay here among the mist for now, <laughs> and turn. Um, let's see, someone else's turn. Uh, Craig Hold on will... just a second. All right. Stand by momentarily. There's players on the field that you can't see right now. It does seem that way. I guess it's very <laughs> extra. Another lightning bolt. Pieces are in motion. Oh. Okay, so so Lucian, you see as a figure stands up from hiding behind the well, from cover behind the uh, the chairs and crates and whatnot, right there. And he points at you, and you feel a chilling cold pass through your entire body. Make a fortitude save. Oh, okay. Fort save, my best save. <laughs> Sarcasm. You'll no. be fine. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> 19? That is not going to be good enough. Do you want to surge it? I will Probably surge it. You've been elevated for 19 levels. <laughs> 22. That is not going to be good enough. Uh, I will give you his reroll. Okay. <laughs> I need a... Uh... Oh, yeah, nope. Yeah, reroll the d20. Then I'll use a hero point. Reroll the d20. 10. Well, that's even worse. Wow. Okay, well, you can reroll with a hero point. What do you, go ahead, hit your yeah. fortitude save again and take the plus four. Okay. Let's see what popping in a brand new bag, it looks like. It's not good. Literally and figuratively. Ah, you failed. Oh, my God. Okay. This is some bad rolls. Did it hit me? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, is it a... I do have images up. Mm -hmm. Is it a, a rage touch attack? I don't know what kind of spell. No, it. I mean, it's, it's a two hit effect. or save, and you roll the save. Yeah, so. usually when they have saves, it's a, um, an attack. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Either or. Sometimes it's both, but usually. Okay. Okay, so you take uh, 130 points of damage. Huh! Of just straight damage? Well, yes. Dead? I only got 91. It is the uh, finger of death, probably, yeah? The finger of mythic. You got like an extra pull of not getting killed. Yeah, you get a double. But still, if you only had 91 to start. Hey, sorry, but I used my hero point already. I was going to say I do two and do cheat death, but I can't. Because I just used it. So where does that put you? A negative 
39? Yeah, 39. Yikes. This is a brutal fight. Yeah. You got any hero points left to cheat death? I got two. I, I never use hero my hero points. I got I just used one, so I got two more to cheat death. But I thought I had to, I didn't know if I had to wait my next turn. Uh, no, I'll let you use them. All right, let's cheat death. Okay, so you're cheating death. All right, so you got a uh, finger to death out of the sky, um, and you are floating back down. To the ground. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm thinking. Doesn't uh, Death Ward protect you inside? Ooh, I'm you know what? Just I don't might, know if it does yeah, or not. I think it does, actually. It is a death. I always thought it did, but I'm reading the spell. Double check. And I'm not sure it does. I think it'd be a death effect. Yeah. Oh, well, it'll give you another plus four to your roll, which will let your initial roll save. It's the, uh, it's a necromancy death spell. Uh, yeah, so it gives you a plus four to your roll, which will, which will make your initial roll save. I'm gonna cheat okay. death? Yeah, so you don't have to cheat death. Oh, okay. You're gonna take less damage. Okay. You're gonna, yeah. okay. Death, death ward save. The death ward gives you the bonus to the save. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so well, that was dramatic for nothing. <laughs> so instead, you're going to take 29 points. Okay. You're not dying and floating to the ground. You still have your two hero points. Uh, how about death ward? Okay. Or three hero points, rather, actually. And I yell, he's up here! Mm -hmm. Just appeared... No, you need to use the hero point for to get over. Okay. So, okay. You, so you got two hero points. Gotcha. Okay, now, Simon, you may proceed. All right. I'll make sure I'm reading this thing right. I hope it's not far enough. All right, I guess I'm probably... It's probably going to be like a double move to fly all the way up there to the, uh, to the ledge, isn't it? Uh, it's 50 Six feet up. Yeah, for the fly spot, it's, it's 60 oh, it's 50 feet. Oh, 50 up? I thought it was 100 up. Okay. Um, the ceiling is 100. All right. Then I am going to uh, fly up, land on the ledge, and then this is the evil wizard who's been shooting us. So I am going to throw a rock at him. Uh, we'll make this just a big old meaty boulder. He's all like shimmery with spell effects and stuff. Yeah, it's probably gonna miss, but gotta start somewhere. So, there we go. Oh, so uh, thirty-one to hit, and if it does do any damage, then that's uh, a total of thirty-seven because it's ranged. No, uh, did the math wrong. A total of forty-one because uh, because of uh, being ranged. But it's probably going to all miss from like a, whatchamacallit. Oh, I think I see another body on the field. Yeah, so uh, before I calculate that, you need to um, make a fortitude save as you feel oh. your body start to seize up as you reach the uh, platform there. All right. Uh, fortitude save. Don't roll one. Oh, it's close, though. Uh, 20 going to be enough. Oh, if it's a spell, it's going to be 22. Um, it's not a spell. It's supernatural ability. Oh, then it's a 20. Okay, that's going to fail. Okay. Okay, so you are staggered for four rounds. All right. Okay, your effect goes off. Uh, that is going to hit. What is it you're technically attacking with? Your kinetic blast, a blast of yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I'm creating a. I'm, I'm, I'm really, basically, it's closer to like pulling uh, Earth out of the elemental plane of Earth and then throwing it at him. Okay.
shouldn't be affected by things like spell resistance, and I don't even think like anti magic field, but uh, it will be blocked by all kinds of other stuff like mirror image or blur. I think there are like arrow shields or whatever. That's what I was wondering actually. Would it qualify? I think the protection from arrows would qualify on that one. Um, let me take a little closer look at it right quick. If it works on siege bolts, it would probably work. Uh, I suppose your ability to create. I just said ranged weapons. Um, but it's damage reduction 10 magic, and it does count as a magic attack. Okay, so. Unless it's I'll show you a picture of the mysterious red woman that popped up behind you there when you. Yeah. Oh, wow. She is. Uh, came up over the edge. He's a looker. <laughs> That's what she looks like? Uh, what... yep. Oh, wow. Wow. Is it, so does that look like a mask she's wearing, or is that her actual, like, mouth? A also had to go through the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me finish uh, looking at what I'm looking at. I'll answer questions here. Come on. Okay. So I think, yeah, that's going to affect your spell somewhat. But, but, uh, Damage is going to get through, but it is somewhat reduced. Alright. So is it 35 total then? Uh, well, it was actually uh, range, so it was 41 total. 41, Before okay. Until you, yeah, until you do your stuff to it. I don't do a lot of ranged attacks, so y'all aren't used to that. Okay, so what you see is... A revolting, withered corpse of a woman dressed in revealing clothing, its bare skin wet with fresh blood. Mm, you can tell she was staring at you intently. She has those crazy eyes. And you can feel it just stabbing into your soul. Watch out, guys. There's two of them up here. And uh, Craig's going to start trying to climb the uh, thing. It'll take him at least around to get back all, all the way up there. Okay. Let's go. Where are they? Because he just shot me trying to get a chance to identify. It was like, Ooh! you know? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. All right, Mr. Maya. The return. He will uh, begin his... Inspire courage. Yes, inspire <laughs> courage. Like a <laughs> <laughs> so, activate his inspire courage. All right, we'll add to uh, the good hope active, so you guys will have plus four, plus four. Plus whatever other buffs that you have going. And he can actually, yeah, he'll cast Expeditious Retreat upon himself to help out with his, his own movement. Even though I guess technically he's flying, but don't want to get hit by those lightning bolts. They'll try to take cover here in the, the alcove. And you said Crag was moving up. Okay. Yeah, he's just well, like climbing up the wall, through the wall. Earth gliding. Okay, so something comes uh, walking up behind you. Uh, uh. Right there. Oh, no. 
It's shaped just like that. <laughs> Mithander, <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> it's shaped like the symbol on the men's wand. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's a deception, it's another woman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I will drink an extract of resist electricity and then I will fly 30 feet up. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. Should we just shoot the hard? Yes. <laughs> shoot, every, shoot everything. <laughs> <laughs> was, was there. I, I don't know if like, this is the time to be talking about it, but. Did we have any lore about the heart, like we were supposed to know to do anything with it? Yeah, we have the whole book, so I don't know what we would know about the heart, but I imagine we would have read it like 12 times by now. The heart of the well, I mean, you know the story of the yeah. lore behind the heart, but you don't know anything about, I mean, how did the power is or, or anything. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just, yeah. You, I mean, you know the lore and how Gothias is using the heart to uh, create this cult and he yeah he is ostensibly preparing the way for the return of a shard along from beyond death and uh yeah you don't really know much else about it i mean the guy whose diary who you, who you have the dungeon guide i mean you could you could sit and specifically study for that but it takes a minute and now's not the time to do it technically um you know, and you could get a get a roll on what to do, but otherwise you're gonna have to guess. I mean, he he fell victim to all this anyway, so it's not like he would know, you know okay. how to destroy this. Because this goes all the way back to the very beginning of the campaign. Mike, yes. you you won't know this, of course, because you weren't weren't here. But it's like probably the third session they discovered um, a vampire in the. Uh, the basement of the cathedral in Rybalka, and that's where they, they got his diary from. And you guys staked him right away. Didn't you? you didn't even give him yeah, a we did. to like <laughs> explain yeah, himself or anything. Or anything. Well, he yeah. got up. We just we did it old school movie style. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> While you sleeping, we were all super <laughs> natural on his ass. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. We we found the diary afterwards, oh, and we were like, "Whoops!" Salt yeah. and fire. <laughs> <laughs> So they've been carrying that book around for a while. Yeah. That's hilarious. What would Dean Winchester do right now? <laughs> Make a quip. <laughs> Sammy. You're evil, Sammy. <laughs> okay, Lucian, what do you do? All right, I'm going to try and figure out what they are. Uh, okay. Let's roll on the red woman. Knowledge religion. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> and roll on the... Uh, this one. Knowledge religion. Well, uh, that's a vampire. Wizard. Or first or stockcaster. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, so... Uh, let's do this, then. It's both of my knowledge religion. Can I, um, can I tell that both can see me? By I'm invisible, technically? Uh, well, you can tell that Gothias can see you because okay. he cast That's... Finger of Death on you. <laughs> right, I knew that one could. I was just <laughs> make sure <laughs> both can see me. All right, so let's do. Uh, I don't have that knowledge. I don't even get my spells. Hold on. Let's cast. Uh, is everyone within close enough to? Because I can hit with haste, because I don't know how far away they are. No, I'm down on the bottom. Uh, else Maya there? and Snorri are on the ground floor. Um, Mithander yeah. is 30 feet up, so he's 20 feet below you. Okay. We're about as spread out as we can be. <laughs> right. Great. I thought like it was designed to make that be the case, unless you start yeah. out, you know, first round with haste. Don't worry about me. I've got a potion of haste if I need it. Okay. got a potion of haste. But I still need Maya to have it more than anybody else, so... Yeah, he just cast uh, expeditious retreat on himself, so he's moving fast. Oh, not my. Uh, uh, and he has flight. Okay. Mithander. Yeah, Mithander's. Where, Mithander, how far below is Mithander? He, he's he's twenty Mithander feet below you. Simon to have haste. Yeah, are they, are they both on ground level? Mithander's Simon. twenty feet below you. Yeah. And then, what about Simon? 
Simon's right there next to you on the map. Okay. He's on the catwalk. Get you guys. Okay. And then, okay. Uh, me and Miss. I'm a cash. Yeah, I'm a cash haste. Okay, the... what's the right spread here. on it? You might not be able to get all three of them uh, because of the dimension. Okay, well, I won't cash it then if I can't get everybody. Otherwise, I will. Uh... What's the spread on? Is it 30 feet? I think it's 30. Because. Yeah. Because be he's feet apart. twenty feet below you, um, he's twenty five feet over. Yes, yeah, so I think he's just far enough out right now. Okay. B squared so, plus B squared equals C squared. So you can Pythagoras. <laughs> you can ready it if you know give people time to move into position. But. Yes, I, I'll do that. I'm a ready haste. Okay. And get once once people are all in position. Are you going to stay where I you will, are, or, or what are you doing? I will move. Actually, let's do this. Let's move as long as I can see. Hold on, I'm switching between screens. I'm gonna go. I don't know where. I mean, check the other screen because I got the one up, the big <laughs> one. I just want to see everybody else's position on below me. Okay, I'm gonna move ten feet this way and five feet down. Okay, so you're just below the catwalk level then. You're right. Just so I can cast it. And I'm gonna ready it. So once everybody's in position, it automatically goes off. In turn. Because I'm not a knowledge religious person. Alright, we're gonna mark you with the four, but we know you're in the four point five. Okay. Snorri, what do you do? Alright, so this, uh, the heart's up on the ceiling, right? A hundred feet up? Yeah. Ninety five feet okay. up from you. Alright. Uh, so if I'll step out the mist. I will cast Fireball at the heart, but because I know that the Shardalon was Red Dragon, I will use a Mythic Point to change that Fireball to Cold Damage. Ooh, okay. And I will blast the heart with a Fireball of Cold. Point painted a target on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Very good. Oh, don't know if that does anything, but uh, it seems like it might be worth a try. I'll roll damage roll in case damage. you need me to. Okay, so let's see. It's uh... your beautiful beam footage. <laughs> I finally saw that commercial. <laughs> oh, did you really? Oh, wow. <laughs> 36 points of cold damage. <clears throat> 36, okay. So you freeze the heart, and then it cracks, and the ice breaks away, and the black flame slowly rekindles. But you can tell you damaged it. Ah, ah. Perhaps we've discovered your secret. Go eat this! <laughs> Dramatic, boy! <laughs> That's what we want. Drama! Yeah. Enter. <laughs> Though you can tell by the casting of your spell... That um, it didn't have the full effect. Yeah. So the nature of the, the heart also reduces it. So, point. sorry. Before can can I see the? I can't see the red woman, but I can see Gothias from where I am. Correct. Uh, yeah, he's got cover from down below. The, yeah, but I can kind of like make out his shape and stuff yes. like that. He's a he's a vampire. Yes. Okay. He's a vampire, Lucian. As, as he looks something to, like to, this to ruin a super cool turn. Yep, he's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it is. That's pretty mythic. Hey there. Start my hero lab. Relaxing. Acting all funky. I am not in the habit of bidding welcome to grave robbers coming to my home. Does he have like a circular magic effect around him? Yes. Can you see it? I can see it. So, um... Can I make a spellcraft? Yeah, or uh, sure. knowledge arcana? Yep, your pick. I think they're both the well, one's better. By a little bit. Uh, 12, <laughs> 22. I've already used a mythic point, so I can't adjust anything. So, 22. Okay. You just bought a vampire before. You just, uh, you know, wait till they're sleeping and then stab them in the dark. <laughs> I kind of want to know whether it's a... Um, one of those globes, invul global invulnerability. 
Let me, I'm double checking the number here. It's 20 plus the spell level. You don't yeah. know. I didn't think so. Well, that was a good try. 30. <laughs> oh, well. oh, it's very achievable. I just rolled a 1. That's that's with a 1. At least you just roll it on. Uh, okay. Yeah. I do a, a mythic check, but like I say, I already used the mythic point to change the energy of the fireball. So I'm done. I'll get eyes on that other creature after. We'll figure out My wives doing. shall feast on her. your marrow. And oh. then I will throw your bones to our children. And he points at you, Simon, and wiggles his fingers. You need to make a will save. <laughs> there <we go. laughs> All right. On here. My best be rolling up a new character. Uh, yeah, what? Speaking of wills, what's in my will? At least it's a will save. Yeah, you say at least that. It's like, that's my worst save. Yeah, dominate person. It's not good. I mean, at least it's something surgical, it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't automatically save you. Dominate person is horrible. Uh, 23, that's not bad. Okay. Double check the DC here. Is it surgeon extra D6? Yes. You saved. Nice. Any hints as to the effect? I mean, you could. If it's what uh, you felt your okay. your your limbs no longer answering the command of your your will. It's been bad multiple different ones. Right? And did he just? You guys can it? spell craft it on your turn if you so choose. Oh, yeah. Story also shouts out, be careful, he might be able to enter your mind. I.e. dominate, dominate wow. person. Vampires, dominate person. Question, did he just envelop me in his energy or is he just above me? Oh uh, yeah, he flew right up to you. <laughs> oh great! Nice. <laughs> it's not like an or something. No, it's not. It's obviously that. Um, not that. Actually, um, I think gold movement vulnerability is just five feet. Yeah. Okay. Is our turn still ongoing? Oh yeah, I guess red lady still has to do something. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's Martha. I think it's gonna shut off some of your spells there, uh, Lucian. How many? It is how many, of my, uh, how many of my images or, or my invisibility or uh, everything you have fourth level and below is going to be suppressed oh so I'm falling well floating you never fall oh, okay you start floating down okay the fly still so... has safety measures baked in <laughs> see so invisibility's gone. Just, gone. If if you if it's just suppressed, once you fall out of the globe, it might pop back on. Maybe. Mm. Suppressed and dispelled are two different things. Yep. So you'll start falling on your turn. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so the other red woman walks up behind you there, Simon. Uh-huh. And she reaches out with her claws. No, no. You look strong and handsome and tasty. <laughs> Your husband's right in the room. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, Simon's AC? AC is 26. 26, very good. All I ever wanted to be strong and handsome. She missed. And yeah. Oh, you're going to be strong and handsome. Make her <laughs> dodge that crazy and old lady. Tasty. <laughs> and tasty. Strong, <laughs> handsome, and tasty. 
single a single tear rolls down Mithander's cheek as he realizes <laughs> he'll never be strong and handsome enough for these vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Just along here, he looks along the way and says, like, "I want to be like him." <laughs> <laughs> then, in a rage, he begins to fire. <laughs> Simon, what do you do? Uh, okay, so I got. The, okay, are there two red ladies? Because I see like this dotted line guy. Is that another red lady, or is that? Well, I mean, you don't exactly know right now. It's invisible. Oh, is that what? Is that why it's there like that? Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, okay. So I guess I'm still staggered, which means I can only do a single attack. I'm going to use my uh, kinetic hammer. May as well use a whip so I can get any potential attacks of opportunity later. And I'm going to hit the one to the northwest. Um, so it'll be a single melee attack. So 29 to hit for 30 damage. That will hit. Yay. Counts as magic, and I guess uh, in this case I'll make it look more like a axe so of slashing damage. Slashity slash slash. Okay. It burns, it burns. That cold iron? <laughs> uh, if you told me to make it cold iron, that is something I can actually make happen. No. But I don't just do that. <laughs> he said it burns. I was like, is that cold iron? <laughs> That and me. So, you know, if there's any information about fighting anything, well, you want to pass well, it like off. Syphilis. Well, like syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> I have a and, good tincture uh, to treat that. <laughs> and I'm just going to say that Craig is still uh, climbing on up. He's not going to do anything once he's there, though, really. He's just going to be world sport. He's, he's just holding the GoPro. Okay. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <clears throat> okay, well, let's have Maya take a look and see if he can figure out what's this drake, what's this vampire up to? I started to call him a Dracula, but we don't have those around here. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Maya. Hmm. No idea what those spells are. <laughs> Looks undead to okay. me. Well, you're on your own, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not my forte. <laughs> Helpful as always, Maya. Helpful as always. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. I'll end my bardic performance. I will see if he's close Ooh. enough. Let's see what the distance it, has to be. Maybe you can with a scream. Hey, hold on. Oh, no, he's going to do something. <laughs> Uh, 25 plus 5 for 2 levels. That's 45. 45 feet. Okay, so he has to fly up a little bit. I'll have him fly up. I'll fly up about 20 feet, not too high. Don't want them red women getting a hold of me. It's red women. <laughs> <laughs> if barmaids back at Red Balk will never forgive me. And he will end his performance and cast um, Purging Finale and uh, get rid of the staggered off of uh, off of Simon. There you go. Right. Clear uh, you back thanks, up. Thanks, brother. Energy. That is going to tap his third level spells, but it's good use of it. Yeah. yeah so, Craig, has he already acted? Uh, I, I, no, he's kind of just like reached the top uh, level but hasn't peeked his head out yet okay waiting for an opportune yeah. moment hiding in the stone okay so you get attacked from behind that was a yep. another another red woman there let's see if it's a rogue <laughs> oh. truly flanked oh yeah she's red red woman red red <laughs> So she tries to bite you. Okay, she bites you. And she claws at you. She hits you with one claw. And with the second claw. Oh, wow. She's accurate. Alright. So I'll give you the, the damage individually. 
Oh, yeah, I do have DR. Uh, seven points from the bite. Does that get through your DR? It does not. My DR is eight. Okay, well, good. So it negates the other effects with it. No. <laughs> okay, and then the two claws. The first claw does nine points. Okay. So that gets through. Uh, yeah, one, one, yeah, one point of it got through. Okay, so it rips through your armor and your flesh, and you're going to take uh, 1d6 bleed on your turn. This time you're going to oh. take three. Okay, so I'll just try, I'll go ahead and mark off three then. And right. you need to make a fortitude save as you feel your limbs stiffening! No! That's Please not be. my limbs. That saved. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That was the so first he claw. Has sniffy. He has sniffy. <laughs> and the other claw is not going to bypass your DR. So you're... Okay. Mithander, what do you do? Uh, first, I would like to check if I can know anything about the magic orb. Okay. Knowledge Arcana. Well, Another one. Spellcraft. What's your... Uh... You, you don't auto fail, but what's your spe what's your knowledge arcana bonus? It's probably not enough unless it's twenty five no, something. No, it's thirteen. So no. okay, you have no Nobody idea. Nobody knows. I told you, Myth. It's just magic. We better get out of here. This is <laughs> powerful. <laughs> Let's get the hammer and go. To hell with those dwarves. I say we go shack up with that dark gnome. Hey, but that is shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Simon's like up there, like, uh, help me, guys. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy's just like, shoot the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I will fly up to, um, to, to, to Simon. I will cast Armor of the Serpent on him. Oh, okay. Simon. Which uh, increases his AC by nine. And then, oh, wow. No, by eight. I'm sorry, by eight. Oh. No, that's a lot. <laughs> and then I will fly another 10 feet up high. Ah, uh, you can't do that unless you have a, some kind of spell cast flyby ability. That's one of the limitations of first edition. So you, you, okay. you, you are there. Yeah. Then I am there. That will be the end of my turn. Okay, Lucian. Uh, um... How far is Snowy still on the floor? Yep. Yes. Really, Snowy? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming everybody's the Lucy's uh, three right here. The big hitters are within. So will the haste go off now? It's well. I mean, it would have gone. You you could have cast well, it when he flew up last round, but you're going to lose your turn. So it's up to you. Okay. I mean, would that they had negated it anyway? If I had, remember, I had the haste prep. You know, like um. Delayed. Yeah, so I mean, if that's what you want to do, you then you cast it when he flew up, which means it's not your turn. Gotcha. Okay. Got you. Okay. Um, as I'm falling, I would try to ID the two things. Okay, so did you cast the haste or not? We have to get that straight. Oh, let's, let's go ahead and cast it. Okay, so it's going to bump you in initiative, okay? All right. That's because okay. of, of the ready action. Okay. All right. All right. So you three guys got haste then. Oh, neat. So you should have plus five, plus four. Good hope. Like that. Snorri, oh, what do you do? Uh, Snorri's going to experiment a little bit. He's going to fly up. 30 feet and um, try and light this motherfucker up with a snowball. Okay. So it's a first level spell that doesn't it isn't affected by spell resistance. So I'm thinking um, I'm not sure <coughs> if, if that'll work or not but anyway my touch attack is uh, 22. It dissipates when it hits the globe. Okay. Enter. I'll, I'll, what I'll, I'll, no, sorry. 
Ba 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 ba. I will do a um, knowledge religion check on. Okay. Uh, the red women, if you will. Okay. If they are ladies, in fact. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. Not great, but that is enough to identify them as Sayona, occasionally called Weeping Vampires. They are regional undead vampire variant. Weeping Vampires for their ability to cry tears of blood. Sayonas are powerful and intelligent undead creatures that hunt mortals to steal from them what they envy most, the ability to exist within living flesh. While they aren't true vampires, similarity between these true creatures creates substantial confusion to those unfamiliar with Sayonas. While Sayona and vampires sustain themselves off mortal blood, uh, Sayonas don't consume the blood, but rather absorb it through their skin, using it to transform their twisted forms back into some semblance of the beauty they had or believe that they had in life. Uh, undead. Okay, that's all you did. That's uh, all I needed to know. Basics, <laughs> dark vision. Um, you can see that they, they attack with their bite and their claws. Um, they do seem to have some kind of spell-like abilities as well. Um, it, one used its staggering gaze on um, Simon earlier, so they so it's a gaze attack that they can use that, that staggers you for a few rounds. Um, you didn't okay. roll good enough to get uh, get any questions. And, so. Okay, so now now that I've seen my snowball interact with the spell, and I've seen Simon's magical effects wink out and then wink back, do they come back on? Once he exits the globe? Or not Simon, Lucy. You mean Lucy? And, yeah, he hasn't yeah. fallen yet. I mean, his yeah. turn got messed up. I guess he should have fallen at the end of, uh, whenever he readied his attack would have gone off, I guess. I'm just gonna make another knowledge arcana check. Is that is that a globe of invulnerability? Let's see how. Uh, Twenty four. Probably not. It's plus the spell level. Might be twenty plus the spell level. If it is a globe of invulnerability, it might be that. <clears throat> it's a lesser one. Okay, so you fall down. Uh... So you drop down 10 feet till you get out of the globe there. Then your fly will reactivate, so that'll reposition okay. you slightly. So all my spells come back? Yes, they're just suppressed inside the globe. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so I still have seven images. Okay. Didn't Simon get a mirage? Uh, um, it is a... a... Yeah, that's not good enough to tell you that it's a globe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to um, surge it 26. Yes, it's a globe of invulnerability. Okay, I thought it was, but let's get some Not a lesser, yes, an actual globe. Okay, cool. And that's the end turn. Okay. Uh, only powerful magic can penetrate his globe. <laughs> so, fourth level spells are higher, fellas. Fortunately, I just happen to know a guy who's got... Beyond that, it's a mythic globe. <laughs> oh, it's a mythic globe. Yep. Oh, all right, well, I'll talk to you later, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> you can look that up if you want. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, you do get swatted when you float downward... It's complicated when we're dealing with uh, multi levels here. What's uh, what's your AC that we're working with, Lucian? Twenty five. Okay, you you get missed. Okay, no no worries then. All right.
Okay, so this round, you hear a squeaking and squealing noise coming from the hole down below you. Oh no. Come a swarm or something. Bats about flying through. I have a feeling. Ooh. We forgot to shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a your sound. My children of the night. Should have made a dump here. Oh man, I got a touch. So they come flying up through the hole. My goes, oh no, bats! Somebody hit it with uh, some flames. I'm on it. Okay. Hey guys, maybe if we knock out the heart of a Shardalon, his mythic abilities will go away. Is that down there? The bottom? No, it's it's above. Yeah, and I, I did cold damage it's at the to ceiling. it. It had an effect. How high is that above where we are? It's, it's That's a hundred feet up. Oh wow! Hey, right, so he blasts you guys with another lightning bolt. You can oh. see that he's holding a wand. These lightning bolts aren't quite as strong as the ones that he, that he dick-handed uh, you with earlier. Uh, <laughs> this dude loves lightning bolts. So you can make <laughs> you can make a reflex save. Let's see how much you take. Uh, Thirty-seven will probably be enough for a wand. Yeah. Unless he can somehow magically make yeah. the one DC his DC. There's a few things like that. Okay, so uh, 25 uh, points altogether. Yeah, both of those are safe. So 12, 12 points. Yay, for protection for relevance. Okay, and then he... <sighs> Uh, yeah, he doesn't do that. He just adjusted. Okay, so he's still 10 feet above you there, Lucian. Alright, another red lady attack on you, Simon. She tries to bite. Misses. So she goes for her claws. Miss. And miss. No, the last one hits. Well, uh, don't forget that I've got like, some AC buff. buff right oh, okay. What's your total AC now? Uh, 33. 33. Okay. She hit you with the last claw. Wow. All right. Eight points. That won't get through your DR, though, will it? It'll be zero after the R, yeah. Okay, so no other effects then. Ooh. And it's your turn. Alright. Well, I hate to not help with the boss, but I seem to be keeping these ladies pretty busy. <coughs> um, you know me. Always, always, in, always yeah. entertaining the ladies. Uh, <laughs> so handsome! I'm gonna full attack the one to my northwest. I can do that now. Let me turn my things back on. I get a grip, I get a haste. So juicy. How much did it look like I heard her the last time? Plump and juicy. You know what? Uh, I mean, you you hit her, you hurt her. Make a heal check uh, if you want to spend your round doing fine. it. I am going to. I wasn't told to use any specific element again to any of these things with her. All right. No, then you heard I, her. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and just use my compound kinetic blast for extra damage. I and I'm going to just full attack the one to the northwest and hope it's enough. Slashing. Oh, oh man, man, on that one. All right, so a okay. fifty-two and a seventy-one. If they hit, 
hit, hit, and the miss. Okay, 1571, very good. Jesus yeah. Christ. All right, so... Uh, it burns, it burns! Th that, you can tell that definitely hurt her. <laughs> She's hurt yeah. bad. Lee. Craig is just kind of like... Going to the rock going, ah, that looks really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here in these walls. Uh, all right. That's about all I can do. Astro's having a rough day. Okay. Maya will fly up behind her. Oh. Let me get mine hammer, for I feel it has become approximately hammer time o'clock. <laughs> Maya, if you fly into that circle, your spell will be suppressed. Now oh, he's going after the red light. No one attacks my dwarf and brethren. And he misses wildly with his first attack. Too bad the second attack was an active. You're chilling, brother. <laughs> Okay, so you're at 33 AC, Simon? Uh, yes. Okay. Fight misses. Claw hits. Claw misses. So just one claw hit. Eight points again. Okay. So it suppresses the other effects. Ooh. Don't eat skin. Oh. Did you take bleed last round? Uh, I think we missed question. a round I of... Did, I, definitely, I definitely did in the most recent round. I, can't I think we missed a round of bleed. Okay, it's 1d6, yeah, yeah. so I got to roll. So it's four points bleed. Right. You laid it on him when you did it. Yeah, that was the first yeah, round he had. I think it should have. Yeah. yeah, it should have been yeah. my last action. I should have taken some bleed damage, and I forgot. All right, Lucian. Does someone actually ID this? Right yeah, here? that's the heart. The it's at the ceiling. Oh, that's the heart in the ceiling. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the yeah, heart. idea. I did, you watch me do cold damage to it, and it kind of. So I so ID that. What do we need? That knowledge, uh, it's a dragon heart. Playing. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, just a, just a regular dragon heart, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, a uh, great well, worm exactly dragon. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> I actually wasn't even talking about it. We were actually talking about oh, huh. uh, this. I just want to know spellcraft, like you normally that. do. Yeah, it just has okay. I mean, he identified it. Okay, can you teleport in it? Uh, I think so. Teleport is a fifth level spell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, if it's fifth level, Teleport it's got to be oh, fifth okay. level. Okay, it suppresses anything third level or below. Fourth level. Okay, gotcha. All third right, level. so as I'm floating down, um, I will. And maybe mythic <gasps> might be different. I'm going to cast Weapon Storm. Give my rapier more weapons. Uh, and then I'm going to move and fly. So I can fly. I'm out of his orb thing, so I can fly. So I'm gonna fly this way, right here. In turn, Mythander. Yes. Let me take a. I will take a full round action to shoot. Uh, I will try the first shot at uh, Mordecai. Okay. With a 31 hit. 31 hits. That's not magic fire, but uh, an explosion. Does that hurt him? Okay. Um, that is going to be reflected back on you and hit you. <laughs> Ouch. We may all need to switch dance partners. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so you can apply that damage to yourself. Uh, I try. Uh, anything else from you? Just may one attack. Um, no, I will t attack the heart next. Do you have more than one attack with your musket? Paste. I have two other attacks, but I will attack the the um, heart now. Okay. Would it? 26 and an 18 hit the heart. Yes, that hits it. And that would be 21 and 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Does that have any effect? It does. You can tell that the the bullet is not damaging it, but the uh, enhanced effect is 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 affecting it some. All right. That will be the end of my turn. <coughs> okay, so it's the top of the fourth round. Let's go ahead and take our mid session break. <laughs> you guys can yeah, come up with some strategy Research. while you're in the bathroom. <laughs> You're the lab to act, act right. <laughs> yeah. You have to reinstall that baby. Keep, keep reading over the same spell, so I'm having, uh, so I'm having to do it old-fashioned way. <laughs> All right. All right. Back five. in five. Is everybody back? Anybody back yet?
so I can get behind it. All right. That'll work. Let's see. Okay. That's only. That's not enough to get sneak attack though. Are you back? I'm back. All right, so strategize before he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> I got a spell I can teleport in it, but I can't do. It. Once I'm in it, I lose everything. I'm assuming. It, yeah, if you're in it and you can be like on the edge, so I can teleport in it. But I think once you're inside of it, is it the the shield itself, or just being inside of it negates everything? It's being inside it. It's okay. it's uh it's globe of invulnerability lesser. Gotcha. So I'm trying to. And my hero lab is messing up. But every time I hit the go to spells, every time I go over a spell, the the higher level ones that we haven't used that, it keeps giving me the same one I have. The, and so. <laughs> uh, what fourth level spells maybe, are you rocking? I would think about the bestow curse. Okay, that might work. But like I have to do it old fashioned way because every time I do one spell, oh, I'm doing it again. These aren't I'm not as familiar with. You know, what you should do is go on um, d20pfsrd.com. You can bring up all the spells there instead of trying to do it on your Hero Lab. Well, I, you know how Hero Lab I mess up sometimes, and you click on it, and it do one spell, and you go to the next one, and it still do the first spell you clicked on. I, it's been doing that to me. I all do not time. use it because I don't like it. I'm a PC Gen kind of guy. <clears throat> There's things about PC Gen I don't like too, but this one may work. Mostly, it's free, so that's yeah. I don't like the part where you have to load sources. All the time, and it's like a, if you happen to have something with this source isn't loaded, and that source isn't loaded, it's it's almost like Fantasy Ground where you don't have to have all the different you have to have all the different things loaded all the time. Right. Yeah. Almost like what's the point of even having all these options if you always have to choose the same things? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. But once it's up and running, it's great. Hmm. So if I do curse negative six, six to any ability score will maybe Draw concentration. Uh, I, I don't have any will or, saves so no I'm talking about it not you I'm talking yeah. about if I do this still curse well right. yeah, will well Neil negates it though so he can probably negate it will probably have, have a high will probably does and and spell resistance I don't know if it's if he has spell resistance uh if I think if we can get we can get the globe down with the dispel magic maybe, but if it's mythic, yeah. we don't have the horses for that. <laughs> I can get in it, but once I'm in it, I can't do much. Why well, stab them? <laughs> once you get oh, in no, it, you can stab them. How's that? Yeah. Well, I can just stab them once with yeah. my rapier, but all my cool stuff, I need um, shadow. I can't do all my shadow stuff because he's undead. It's negative energy damage. Oh. So I can stab him once and then start floating down. <laughs> well, why don't we stop trying to kill him and we'll take out all his dummies first. And we'll start chipping away at him. Okay. Yeah. So that's the plan. Kill the mob. I guess if y'all start yeah. doing yeah. that, I'll engage him yeah, and try to keep him away from the rest of you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, take care, care of the um, swarm. I gotta turn that bat noise off. It's driving me crazy. Cat is being. Now, is it too loud? You guys have to tell me when it's too loud. It's it's, it's all right. right. I can't really hear it right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can mute an entire tab. I'm assuming that's what yeah. Like, oh. Because I'll, I got it separately. It's not all together in mine. So <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mute those motherfuckers permanently. <laughs> <laughs> well, Snorri, you're up. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm 30 feet up. How how high up is this warm? Is it just coming out of the hole at the same yeah, time? Yeah, they just emerged from the hole this round. Alright, I'm just going to light them up with a fireball. 
Okay. Just a good old fashioned ten hit dice fireball. Fireball. The DC is nineteen for a reflex save. If they get one, if not, they take thirty nine points of fire damage. And if, if they're vulnerable to fire or um, <laughs> immune to fire, <laughs> they might very well be. I was I was considering that because of the uh, connection with the Shardalong. Even with the save, that will incinerate them. So well done. Uh, I suppose those were your children you were supposed to feed us to? Ah, infidel! <laughs> and I specifically said I would feed you to my wife. And children. I <laughs> we're getting in a hurry to get eaten. <laughs> I'm just saying. I could sell these on the street as a tasty treat now. <laughs> Anything else from Snorri? No, I think that's uh, that's all I'm going to do this round. I'm going to stay 30 feet above the floor. And okay. So about 20 feet below him. Put marker on you here. Okay. Ah! Infidelis! I don't think Telby's coming after you next, do Everything's risky at this point. Come on, gotta heal up. What's the worst that could happen? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Permanent yeah. death. Yeah. Oh well. That was a good fireball, by the way. Yeah, nine points of damage. It was. It was good rolling was dice. Nice fireball. Yeah. There's three ones in there too. That could have been even better. Okay, so he wriggles his fingers and points his hands. A little razzle dazzle. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll make a spellcraft check while he's doing it, just to. I suspect we are of the same class. Something like that. Own of cold. Well, I hope them bitches are immune to cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, he just killed his wives. I mean, they were technically already dead. Yeah. Still, that's a. Cold of cold is pretty thick. Forty-four damage. points. Reflex save for half. So that's everybody. Okay. Well, everybody on the catwalk okay. walk there. Defenses, reflex. God, I can't find the. I can never find anything on this character sheet. Next game, I guess we're playing a party of bards. I'll be breaking out in this one. Yeah, and that's twenty, and that's twenty-five for me. Okay. Yeah, and remember, friend. you guys get plus. Yeah, you get the bonus from Good Hope. Yeah. And I got Cat's Grace going. So. Oh, so twenty-six. Yeah. Okay, so everybody saved. So you save for half. It's uh forty-four, so twenty-two. <clears throat> the red women seem unaffected. Uh, of course. Immune to cold, maybe. Yeah, we'll take that as a hint. Undead. But unusual. Did yeah. you try to. I guess you couldn't get any questions with them either, huh? No. 
I can just identify. I can't even say their name. <laughs> <laughs> the red and women's face. Like, name, that's one of those weird name. Arcadian creatures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see, and then he'll fly up oh. to Mythander. That sucks. He just moved right there. <laughs> so you're going to start falling on your turn there, Mythander. Just 10 feet till you drop out of the globe, anyway. Before that happens, this red woman comes over and is going to try to. Take a bite out of you. I will fall. Dark meat. Oh, she's on the edge there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, damn it. They can fly. One thought he could fly. The other thought he was invincible. They were both wrong. Here, a point that's if like you can ID what five. movie that's from. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> familiar, but. <laughs> Not Phil's the only one that might have a chance, I would guess. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, Mythander, what's your active AC? Calculating. Are you muted? 24. Twenty-four. Okay. All right. Um... She does not bite you. She hits you with a claw. You got hit with two claws. Oh no. Another claw. The first one is six points slashing damage. Does that get through? Yes. I don't have DR. Okay. Well, I'm, I didn't know what defenses you had up. All right. And you're going to take 1d6 bleed. On your turn, it's presently one. And you need to make a fortitude save as you feel your limbs stiffening. No. Is it poison? Hmm. No. Oh, sad. It's a supernatural <laughs> effect. <laughs> you immune to all that thing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 15, that's gonna fail. Uh, Is it tetanus? 17 with a good hope. You got any other ways to bump it? Surge I it. could surge it. Won't do much, I think. 20 at least. Uh, yeah, that's not good enough. You are. Oh, wow. Paralyzed! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> for three rounds where is Paralyze. There's a little icon for it. Yeah, okay. Jay, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, and you, you took two claws, so I have to roll the damage on the second one. Uh, so five points from the second one, and the bleed is actually going to be five total. Okay, so it's bumped up to five on your turn. Okay, and you're already paralyzed, Simon. What do you do? I well, I said what I was going to do is head over to uh, flying guy. Is he on the same level as we are? Yeah. Yes, he's up. He's top. right there. He's right there next to Myth Andrew. So I feel like I'm a little. <laughs> he didn't line up very well for a flank, but he's right there. Yeah, I'm more trying to figure out if I can hit him with my ten foot attack. Is he ten feet from me? Uh, yeah, he's not in a five foot square. Yeah, he's ten feet from me. All right, cool. I'm going to use my kinetic whip against him, and I am again going to go heavy metal. Uh, 
that token is a little big for the square, but it looks cooler like that. So he's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I just wanted to make sure. I had, I was, that's why I wasn't sure. But, uh, okay, so... Um, I didn't want him to be really tiny with his cape puffed out. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing cool. something. We get it. Cool token. Overrides it for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, is, cool. that is a wicked cool. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have it wrong. Okay, and so, yeah. Composite Blast... I haven't been told to use any special elements of this against this guy, right? No, I don't. Uh, I right. guess I would. I would probably lay off cold and fire. Then yeah, slashing rocks at him. A kinetic whip flashes out and tries to strike him. Okay. Thirty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-four. Don't know. Now, this is a whip, right? Not a ranged attack. Um. Well, it would be. It's, it's a melee attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I call it a whip. It's really more like a a bunch of rocks all just kind of flying in him at him at the same time. Like a tendril of rocks. The main thing is that I can make some attacks of opportunity if someone casts spells within my ten feet of me. Yeah, it's almost like um, the guy from the second Iron Man movie, but with rocks. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that hits, misses, and hits. Wow, he is a tough dude. All right. Ah, Zed won't go down. <laughs> and you definitely hurt him with those attacks. Those tell you affected him. Yeah. Non believer, your touch burns. You know what? Just for fun, because she's asking for it, it's never going to work. Craig's going to run up and try to push this woman off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he'll, she'll, she'll get an attack of opportunity on Does he have bull rush? <laughs> nope, so she'll get an attack of opportunity okay. on him. It's never going to work, but it is he, funny. Uh, and it, if it does work, it's 5d6 bludgeoning damage. It's always fun. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm fly. pretty sure she hit him. Uh, I know there's a thing for CMB in here. Is there not just a generic CMB attack? Uh, yeah, you just hit the CMB. B. Oh, there it it's is. just the question right. is where is it? Yeah, we used a different sheet on CMD. our. Other... I'm sure CMD's higher than that, but different sheet on our other game. It's a little easier to navigate. That's actually him rolling fairly well, but yeah, 26 fight is a meter CMD. 26 is good. Yeah. He had to try. He had to try. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Close, but no cigar. And then yeah, she'll get an attack on him. Um, yeah, so she hit him for six points. Does he have DR or anything? Uh, he does not, although he is immune to like... He's, it should be immune stuff. to blood and I mean, bleeding, <laughs> paralyzed Yeah, he's immune to bleeding, yeah. yeah. He has no blood. The worst or grossest thing for a vampire to fight. <laughs> Giant poop monster. Alright, and that's all the stuff I... Okay. Um, Let's see, Maya will have to resume his song this round. Well, this reminds me of that time we fought the vampire at the ghost tower of Inverness. It was <laughs> me, okay, goes, Cousin Stiffy. In direction. <laughs> 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 so he'll uh, he'll resume his inspired curse. He has lingering songs, so it's been going um, even Ooh. when he when he cancels it. Oh, it's like it's like. Nice. Uh, Five feet either direction, Maya. He can. Oh, you want him to? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, he'll make an attack <laughs> before he does that. I can't leave yeah. my brother alone. <laughs> so let me swing mine hammer. Flip, which will miss. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he five foot it over for you. Okay. Depends on how it reacts. Mess me up with that move. Okay, so she is going to turn and attack Maya now. Ah, this rocky one's no good. But you look nice and plump. Help me, brother. She's trying to eat me. You're like, you're on your own, buddy. 
All right, he gets <laughs> one eye. <laughs> shaming us all, too, and we haven't had a chance to get to the gym. <laughs> One bite, one claw, two claws. Okay, so you took them all. Oh, shit, his body tank, babe. I don't move. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You cannot say around them, did you? <laughs> no. No. Nine points from the bite. As soon as, as soon as he pulls out his hammer, we should just stop him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like, Ooh, Maya! <laughs> Give me a of invisibility, distilling the Yeah, it just becomes an extra thing to do. Yeah. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Maya's got Maya. them distracted. He is, he is a companion <laughs> after all. Hey, too. Yeah. Okay, and he needs to try not to get paralyzed. I feel my limbs stiffening. <laughs> of course you do, Maya. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so he's paralyzed. Oh! <laughs> he's just standing still now. <laughs> he just he got the Xavier. You are paralyzed. Paralyzed. Lucien, what do you do? All right, I'm going to shadow jump to right here, which would be my standard beep, because of that thing. here, and I will got to move. Oh, in turn. Okay, no attack or anything? Shadow jump is a spell. So. Okay. Mythander, we can uh, apply your bleed damage and we'll tick one off of your paralyzation. And, and you're going fall to be down. falling. Yes, you fall down 10 feet. 10 feet on. Yeah, because then the fly spell kicks back on. It just suppresses I it. Fly. I flap my wings and oh. now I can't. Uh, oh, then you won't oh fall yeah, so you will actually fall. Oh, yeah. oh he, he won't fall if he has natural. Oh, are you saying? Paralyzed. Are oh, because he's par uh, paralyzed. In that case, I think you're just going to fall 50 feet then. Does no. anyone have um, <laughs> feather fall uh, prepared? I do. Maybe. Uh, Instant action, or what is it called? Uh, is it uh, immediate, immediate? It's immediate. Action? Immediate. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it if I can. I think it's personal, though, isn't it? Uh, I think it is. Uh, yeah. Personal. Is it? Yeah. It's for you. Yeah. Personal. Let me look. I'm not thinking of it. It's worth person. double checking. Yeah. I don't know. It springs close. Twenty-five feet plus five feet for two levels. Okay, so close enough. Uh, okay. You can actually pass it on multiple people. So, like, if your whole party suddenly finds himself falling. Yeah, it is an immediate action, so that will preclude my turns. But well, just your swift on your on your. Yeah, action. that's your like my uh, yeah. yeah. Just lose okay. your swift. Yeah. Yeah, we do have it. Okay, okay so you do that, then you give him feather ball. You yeah, cast feather ball. Follow you when you go by. Okay. All right, so you you're falling, but you get feather fall. <laughs> so uh, what's the rate of fall on feather fall? Did he just land on the floor this round. Then let's see here. I think he'll just gently land on the floor this round. It's like I think there is a limit, uh, but I can't remember the number. It's less than I think the height we're at. Okay, uh, so. sixty feet per round. <laughs> All right, so it so changes the rate of which the target falls to a mere sixty feet per round. The subject takes no damage upon landing while the spell is in effect. Put you over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're back on the floor safely, thanks to Snorri. Uh, do you have any other actions you can take while you're paralyzed? I do not. Okay. Any any inner monologues you want to share? With the class? <laughs> <laughs> I like just that. saw my life. Uh, life on my uh, side so I've been in this situation before and 
At least this time I'm not alone, so I'm very grateful. There you go. We're grateful for you as well. And five points bleed for that round if you didn't apply it. I already applied it. Okay. And next time it will only be one point bleed. So I'll change that. Okay. Snorri, what do you do? Lost your swift. Um, I lost my swift, but uh, removed paralysis on um, Nathaniel. Oh, very nice. He's within range. I don't have to touch him. It's, uh, it's a short range spell. Okay. It's a shaman. It's level two, so we're good. It just, uh, if it's only one creature, it just instantly uh, dispels it. Okay. I can do multiple, but uh, I can't do Mythander and my at the same time. They're not close enough to each other. And it is instantly dispelled. All right, and... Uh... I'll say to uh, Methenda, get back on your feet. We're going to need you. And then I will fly up to here. Face me now, Dark One. <clears throat> Gotta draw a little fire. Okay. <clears throat> So he's still surrounded by that globe, right? Yep. Or is it that globe just kind of stays in place? No, it surrounds him. Okay. Okay, so he uh, withdraws up to the heart. It is wives. Okay, so uh, this one turns her gaze back upon you, Simon. Oh. Fortitude save. Why does let me mess with her boyfriend? The fortitude save of 25. That saves. Okay. You're able to avoid the staggered effect, and it's your turn. Fortunately, I'm still surrounded by red ladies. Um... I'm gonna have to continue to go to town on them. Yeah. Uh, uh, get after these. Yeah. Random. All right. I'm gonna switch back to my regular attack. I can't burn all my big attacks in the first one fight. Uh, so regular kinetic blast with haste. Uh, oof. Yeah, I'm really terrible. 25 hit enough to hit one of these girls. 25 will miss. All right. It's so only that one 42 hits for 37 damage. Okay. And that was one on the left. Okay. That is actually good enough to take her out. How do you finish her off? Uh, you know what? I go along with Craig's motion and like swing uh, a stone axe around and chop her head off as she, her body tumbles down to the floor below. <laughs> but then, no! <laughs> <laughs> and hey, he, okay, I did the hasty one too. I can't imagine we just getting up to be smashed by a falling pot. Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> by a fallen dead woman. I'm, a, I'm actually more imagine, imagining like the, the head like rolling up right to your face, like on the ground. It's her face, and like y'all are you're just like staring into her eyes or something. <laughs> so at first staring. I catch her at first I catch her head and then the body's crashing. Yeah. Stare into my eyes. And uh Craig it's gonna just melt back into the walls after seeing how ineffectual he was. Shame on you, Craig. <laughs> Shame. 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 To the hot Craig. To the hot Craig. I'm going to distract the Gathias stuff. To the hot Craig. To the hot. <laughs> he doesn't know he's not going to the heart. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, he can start climbing up towards the heart. I don't know what he's going to do when he gets there. Yeah, he doesn't need to, but he just yeah. once he goes into the stone, Gathias yeah. doesn't know. Yeah. Unless he has Tremor Sense or something. Well, Craig, yeah, definitely has Tremor Sense. Yeah. I'm talking about Gothias. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Maya says, That's one way to get ahead with Ender! My grow wit! Oh, oh, oh. I'm paralyzed, never mind. <laughs> I guess he can still talk, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lucy, no, it helped me. My limbs fail me. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to say it the whole time, and you can't believe no one else is going for the joke. <laughs> Missed opportunity. The fools. All right, so uh, the red woman will feed upon Maya this round. Oh no, Maya! No, is he going to become a vampire now? Is he like trying to get a punch card? Yeah. <laughs> Got to join a union. My uh, brother, she's eating me. Don't die, Maya. Okay, so... You see the blood from Maya's wounds just, like, leap out of his armor and just, just spray onto uh, the woman's skin and it rolls around and being absorbed into her skin. And all across her body. Oh, I feel my strength leaving my limbs. Alright, so he's mind. going to take three con damage this round. Lucien, what do you do? I'm gonna get really with the way the air. It actually is awful magic for some reason, but we'll hit it. 42 plus, actually, it'll be the lowest one will be 30, and that'll be 31. Actually, it's plus 2 on those two. Because I had the plus 13, plus, three, plus 15. 30 plus hits. You're allowed. So, oh, so all of it hit. Boom. I only see one attack. What are you? I got 42, 20, uh, 42. Oh, I got the wrong person. Oh, sorry. All right. I mean, that must be the wrong one. Hold on. Give me an exact. I got alternate numbers. I only see one at, one attack. So. Hey, I'm looking at, I was looking at the wrong one. Let me I hit the wrong button. Sorry. There. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what wow. just happened. Hold on. Hey, that can't be right. Yeah, that's not right. right. I don't know what's going 19 on. plus 13 is 15? Oh, I see what it was. It uh, uh, has zero on that one. It's that one. So, 27. That should be 32 and 24. Actually, I'm sorry. 30, 34 and 26. Okay, so 34 hits. 34 hits for, okay, for 18 with the rapier, then it will be... No, 26 eight. hits too, you said 26, yeah, so they both hit. Okay, so 18 plus 18 for 36, that's not all of the damage. Alright, and then But wait, that's not all. And wait, that is not all. Plus it'll be another 5d6 <laughs> for each one. Mm hmm. Um, um, okay, so, um, I'm sorry, I did it wrong. Just do the first one of each, so plus three. I mean, so it was plus three instead of all that. Just do plus three to that, so 36, 39, and then 3d6 for the um, weapon storm. I give it a total at the end. Hey, I'll call you on Tuesday. Okay, that was all. That didn't make any sense. Okay, well, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all I need is the last number. Okay, I got you. 36. I was going to have his people call your people. <laughs> I'll get to the number. All right, so 36 for the primary, plus it'd be 39, and then plus 12. 39, 49, 51. 52. 51 total. That makes sense. Yeah, I explained to you. Okay. Because else? basically, he has sneak attack da damage, and then he has and weapons going. That's right. Okay. Anything and you hit, else? You hit twice there. Yeah. Oh, and then my haste. Sorry. 
Oh, that's right. You get your hasted attack. So just put the first one, this one. Ah, that one. Miss. One. Okay. In turn. Do we have any crits yet? We should be running crits on this. Roll again to confirm. I think that's weird. All. We haven't. Oh, had, okay. He's more had a lot of extra bad luck instead of good luck on this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Roll again to confirm. Let's see what you got. Okay, that's gonna be a fumble. Twenty nine doesn't hit. There's plus oh, is it twenty nine? Okay, in that case, you don't fumble. Okay. Skin the cat again. All right, Mythander, you're no longer paralyzed, but you're on the floor. I am on the floor. I will stand up. I will drink an extract of cure critical wounds. Mm, good idea. See. <laughs> One point of damage this round from bleed, by the way, and that will get rid of it. The cure will get rid of it. Wow, that's 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 amazingly low. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, then's the virtual dice gods. They giveth and they taketh away. They do. No, they just take from me. They give it <laughs> and they fuck it. <laughs> then I will uh, take amazing initiative and I will reload my gun. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Round then six. Then I will uh, oh. fly up a little bit. Just how high up you fly? How, how high can I? Well, whatever your speed is. I mean, you have your normal mood. Then 30. Okay. Put you at 30. We'll move you back on the other map. So you're 20 feet below the, uh, the ledge again. Snorri. Uh, from here, I'll use a mythic point and, um, Remove Maya's paralysis. Oh, okay. I can move again. You missed your jokes. Um, <laughs> get away from them. And uh, but I'm uh, helping. <laughs> <laughs> you help them. I get out of the way. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to use the lightning bolt. Get out of the way. And he winks at Lucian. Like, I'm not going to use a lightning bolt. I'll dodge, it. I'll dodge it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling me for? I'll dodge it. <laughs> all right. I had turn. That's all I can really do. Okay. I'll, I'll look up at uh, Dracula, though, and um, I'll watch what he does. Both eyes. Look at you. I'm going to give you the two fingers in the eyes and I'll point them at you. Now he's effectively protected in the heart. Probably should have moved out of the way for area of effect stuff, but yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, all right. How many lightning bolts can he possibly have? That's right. It's straight down too, so he's got the wand. It's she's just using our treasure at this point. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it goes, right? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> okay, so he wiggles his fingers and points at you guys. And there's an explosion of cold overhead as hailstones 
pound down upon you. All right. Some of that's bludgeoning damage, and some of that's cold damage, correct? Yep. Okay. So I've got stone skin on. So, so I keep track of. Looks like looks like everybody is going to be in it because of the spread of the cloud. Yeah, it's a big one. It's like a forty foot radius or something like that. So this is a. Uh, the ladies are in. The, going to take the bludgeoning damage too. They are going to take bludgeoning damage too. Okay. So it is not much. 11 points bludgeoning on everyone, and then six points of cold damage. And now the entire uh, catwalk where you guys are is uh, difficult terrain now. And there's uh, snow floating in the air, and everything's foggy and misty, so you're having trouble seeing through it but you can see through it you're just taking a minus four penalty on perception you get a reflex save on ice storm nope no no saves the, i didn't think so we're good because uh, no reflex yeah okay. no no reflex save so what gotcha. was that total damage again do we remember it was 11 bludgeoning so your um yeah, my thing's gonna dr yeah 11 and, bludgeoning uh, and five six cold no oh, six cold yeah. all right six all right and i am damaged but not badly and everything uh, let's see. So you get um, difficult terrain. You get a minus four perception check. And it lasts for a round per level. Difficult. Simon, what do you do? So the damage only appear, occurs once. Yes. Just the, the other effects. Um, like the... I guess I can still attack the red lady. So I'm going to try to finish off the other red lady. Still be in struggles. We don't want you, Rocky One. You're too hard on our teeth. Ah, back to time. And flanking, don't forget. Oh, yeah, I am getting flanking, so that's extra two. So 31, if 31 hits, they all hit. They will all hit, then. Nice. Yay. So 37, 43, and 42. Red hair. And the last one's going to take her out. How do you finish her off? Um, you know what? I've been inspired by the last one. This time I'm going to backswing in, with the uh, axe. And, you know, I guess I trip, aim for the head. I just smack her on the shoulder blade. And she goes flying off into the... Uh, Throw the another head. woman at Mathan. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gothias, had your spell not taken effect, she would still be alive. It's raining women instead of raining women. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly fire killed your wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I, I'm feeling like a little too uh, clumped here, so I'm gonna pop it this way. And Christ, like good job, boss. That's what I was trying to do. All right, Maya. I'll move out of the way. Wait for me, brother. We should yeah, stand side by stand side like you. this. <laughs> <laughs> Heal your wounds, Maya, so you don't bleed anymore. Oh, yeah. Right. That bleed damage keep, keeps going. Where's that healing? Yes, he needs to do a. He'll cast a cure moderate on himself then. He's get cure serious. Mithander. Yes, I will also fly. Uh, I will fly up, but also in this direction. So we're not too crowded. And I will also cast cure moderate wounds on me. Okay, so if you fly up and over, that's going to put you just below the ledge. That's all right. Okay. Round seven, Snorri. All right. I'm going to use a hero point for this one. Oh. Ooh. So, uh, Snorri concentrates with all his might and tries to bring down 
the globe of invulnerability with a dispel magic. I don't have mythic, but okay. Uh, I'm using my Fair point. Nice, good use. My inner reserves as much as possible. Okay. Let's see here. I'm using a. It's, and I get two cracks at this because of my mythic ability. I don't know if this will break through or not, but. Uh, so it's normally plus 14. Uh, how much is, uh, if you use a mythic point, what modifier? It's plus or not a mythic eight. point, but a hero point. Uh, hero point is it eight? plus eight, yeah. Okay. Is it just applied to the first roll and then maybe not the, the re-roll second? Or, or is it to both? To both. Is this ability, I, I get two I shots. It. Okay. It's useful. Okay. Hero points are useful. <laughs> 31 <laughs> twice. This is a cash level check. Gotcha. Let's check the numbers here. Can he have Maya's re-roll? Can he take two more rolls with that? I don't know. I think by I already used the reroll, no? Yeah, I think we used that. Use that oh, yeah. Time. Yeah, that's right. We used that early. No, we did not. Yes, we did. Yeah, for... Uh, I did. Could be. Yeah. No, didn't he say... Oh, we did. They hated it. That's right. Oh, right. That yeah. got on. That's, that's right, too. Right. That death warded. That's right. I think 31 <laughs> might be good. Uh, 31 is... Uh, okay. Um. Yep, that'll do it. And Beep. then uh, I'm going to I'll move over to here and fly up about thirty feet. It's no one left but us, Gothias. All your servants have abandoned you. You could give us the hammer and we could leave. And you can continue to do whatever nefarious things you continue to do down here. We don't care. We're not here for that. We're not here for you. We're not here for the heart. I mean, when we're still here, okay. We're here for the hammer. It's your choice, though. Your greed can be your undoing. Enter. You defile our temple and have the gall to beg for mercy. Mm. My lord shall <laughs> feast on your soul for all eternity. And he wiggles his fingers and he points at you. Okay. What kind of wiggling and pointing are we doing? <laughs> Do it just a little bit. <laughs> little arcana check as I watch his movements. <laughs> The horrors that await the infidels. If if it's a spell attack, he should know. I've got like seven images. So if it's like a touch attack, okay. Oh. Giant creature. Appears and comes rushing towards you. Make a will save. Alrighty. I think I've got this. I'm an egg. No, I think it's an illusion. I'm not buying it. Oh my god, 17. Why did I roll a 3? 17 is going to fail. I'm going to hero point that. <laughs> Can you hero point twice in the same round? <laughs> uh, I allow it, yeah. You, normally you can't, but I do because your points are useful. Yeah, I'm going to use them all up. Spent. I got one left after this. 
28. That's a uh, table variant. Okay, 28 will save. All right, so you is realize it, that it is uh, an illusion. Yeah, like a spectral image or something uh, like but that. But you're still going to take, yeah, 3d6, which comes out to 13 points of damage. Okay, like a shadow conjuration or something. I'll take it. Could have been a lot worse. Yes, a lot worse. Your politics have no effect on me, Gothias. Ah! <laughs> Even though I took 13 points of damage. <laughs> He'll fly up to you. Alright. That changes. Let's get him. So, uh, we are roughly uh, you guys are 20 feet, feet below the heart. Yep. You guys are 80 feet up. Yeah. Simon, what do you do? That's a good question. My says, Simon, do you feel it? Like a, a calling. <laughs> the, ha the hammer, it's here. Calling out like the clear ringing of a hammer on a new forge. The fist of Mordain, it's here. And he points up at the heart. Oh. oh. You, think that, you think the fist is in there? Can't you feel it? Can't. Can I feel it? Please. Can you feel now it? Now that you think about it, you do feel something. Like, for instance, I'm going to go and try to break the hammer. <laughs> Can Out you feel love. it? You say the heart's another 50 feet up? Uh, Yeah, so it's at the ceiling. It's 95 feet up, so it's 45 from where you are. Oh, good grief. Okay. Um, 95. I'm doing, I'm, I'm mathing. Uh, yeah, okay. I am going to fly uh, 60 feet up and then use my uh, bladed uh, rush to attack it. Uh, um, attack the heart, it. okay. I'm going to attack the heart from 10 foot away melee. Uh, check, check, and it's a Boom. 36 if it hits a stationary object for 42 uh, slashing damage. That hits it. And you can tell right. when you strike it, the uh, the black flame flares up. Yep, I'm probably in danger. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess Craig's gonna start climbing the walls towards where I am. Is this thing like strung strung to this from the ceiling? Does it hang down a lot from the ceiling, or is it like very close? To the ceiling? It's right below the ceiling. I mean, it's right there. It's, it's floating right. in the air. It's in a super oh. flimsy mesh hammock. <laughs> no, right. it's floating. Right. It's like um like a packet of onions. Yeah, I don't know why I assumed it was like chained to there. So it's just floating magically. Okay. Yes, it is floating magically. All right, cool. All right, uh, I think that's everything I can do this round. All right. Let's see if there's anything useful Maya can do. Uh, he'll cast invisibility on Lucy. Oh, really? oh okay. Thanks. He can see us invisible, though. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I forgot. <laughs> well, now I can't see you. Darn it. <laughs> I guess that's an improvement. <laughs> Lucy, and what do you do? <laughs> I, I can't see you to dismiss it. Uh, use a mythic point and do surprise strike, which moves me 30 feet, which is right behind him. Boom. I'm trying to get it right. Where is uh, he's uh, more than thirty feet up. He's there. Oh, yeah. there. Oh, by Pythagoras again. You got to yeah. Oh, how far up? You is have he? to apply plus thirty, 30 to he's the thirty distance. feet up too. Yeah. Okay, so he's sixty so feet up. He's yep. uh, sixty-five feet up. So haste doesn't count for fly, does it? Yeah. No. Does, does no. I have to fly? The, it gives you an extra movement. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it does. You're right. Yeah, it's easy. Plus, okay. 30, I so guess. I, I'll at least, okay, boom. I at least get right behind him and hit him. And then hit him with the rapier. You get plus two for the flank, too. You all oh, more flat footed. So. And I do have my weapon out. So I threaten. 
Even though I'm not the most. 33 and 20. Ooh, and Does that confirm? Hold on. The 20, does the 23 confirm? I don't think. No, that'd be, no, it's 20. Oh, 23. He's got a 50% chance to negate. Oh, okay. Actually, it's 20. It's 20. Plus 7, so it'll be 28, yeah. Yeah. So, how much is the confirmed? 27? 28? 28. 28. Uh, that does not confirm. Oh! Can, can you search, search or confirm? Yes. Yeah. Cost you swift action. Okay, I'll search it. Let's search it. Okay, that'll oh. confirm. He has a 50% chance to negate crits. Oh. So you want 51 oh, and fortification. up. Okay, he oh. got through. Oh. Boom! So, hold on. Four. Thirteen. Crit damage got me more than six. So. Yeah. Huh. Are you doing Crit sneak attack, too? Yeah. He negates Three. the sneak attack. Oh, does he negate all sneak attack? Yeah. Huh. This one he just did. That sucks. Okay. And then... But the crit gets through. So 3v6 is 9. But then they get crit. So. Sneak attack. Crit attack. 9. 15. 20 is 3. Should be more, I think. No? That's weird. Now, are you giving yeah. me the oh, total damage? Did, did you add the plus eight to the damage? Or the, the plus four to the damage? Oh, I've got a plus four. Sorry. Uh, 27. And then plus four to the crit, too, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that gets critted, too. It, yeah, it gets it's more. 39. 39. 39. Okay, very good. Oh, we get to roll the table, too. Ooh, 97. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good result. Nice. That's a wreck of the old 97. Uh-oh. You might have done more damage. You're using what? You're stabbing your, uh, your rapier. Uh-huh. Rapier. Target is struck in the head and loses 1d4 points of intelligence. Ooh. Nice. By normal critical multiplier. So no more damage, but... Intelligence. Okay. Uh, roll a d4. See how much you apply. Three. All right. And not them stupid. Yeah, <laughs> you stabbed him in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ernest. Scared stupid. <laughs> ah, foul elfling. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else from Lucian? Uh, that's it. Mithander. Yes, Mithander will use his Shoot dragon him. breath spell. <laughs> okay. And I will, um, first I will fly up to the ledge here. Then I will use the dragon breath spell on the heart. Oh, what dragon's breath are you using? I only have black dragon scale, so I, it will be acid. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And <laughs> I will use my uh, fluke ability to max out the damage, which will be 72. Oh, yes. Nice! Ooh. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I, I, plan to do, I plan to go uh, below Snorri to... Uh, Hit them oh both, God. but it will hit Snorri too. So uh, it will hit Lucian too after he flew there. So. No, he won't mind. <laughs> All right, I'll dodge it. All right, I will. I will just take them both. Kill poor Lucian with it. Oh no! You kill me too. Oh no! no. Well, technically, <laughs> it's uh, one or the other. No, yeah, I'm the. I will do it from here, so no other, nobody else gets harmed. No, no collateral damage. 
That's a okay. great move, right. though. So 72 Basically, uh, versus the heart. Mm. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, so you can tell you have greatly damaged the outer casing, and actually a hole ripped open in the side, and you see, like, dirt pouring out. That's unexpected. <laughs> And it starts coughing like that? No, it's not coughing. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> coughing out steps. More of a shark from the heart. That was not me. <laughs> For a smoking commercial. Okay. Round eight. Sonori. Sonori takes a five foot step back and levels his fist at Goliath. And <sighs> dimensional anchor. Oh. Let me That's make will say, a isn't touch. It? Nope. No will oh, say. it's range it's touch. touch yeah, okay. Yeah. <sighs> we see here. It's a I'm going to use a hero point for this one. My final oh. one. Okay. So adding eight to this. Oh, wow. 35. Okay, that hits. Touch. Now roll your spell resistance. Plus B14. Twenty nine and thirty. That does it. What? Curses. You are planning on going somewhere, perhaps? Bah! And turn. I could drop the mic on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Witless human. Ninja silence. So many options when you run a spellcaster. Yeah, especially like a 14th or 15th level one like yeah. this guy. <clears throat> okay, he floats over. Yeah, but the good thing is you guys kept attacking the same day, so you had used spells when you first encountered him, so you uh, did the right thing. Uh, so he will float over and he's going to magic missile snorry. Ah, I've got the shield spell up. Do you have the, the shield the spell mythic. up? Yeah. Got the shield still up. Does Mythic go through? Does he have Mythic magic missiles? That get me? He does have Mythic they, magic I, missiles, and they bypass yeah. shield. Okay. I thought they might. I wasn't sure. No. I've never noticed that. My master wants your death. Your master may have to wait. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a decent bit of damage, but they bypass shield. And is it worth noting that they are two D four plus one? Okay. For mythic, so you guys don't use a lot of mythic spells. Mm -hmm. How do you get mythic spells, anyways? Do you, you get, have like, to get you have to pick time? mythic spell casting. Yeah, okay. you pick that, and then you start getting, you get start picking which ones you know mythically. So you have okay. to know the spell normally, and then you can pick it mythically. So you get like but you only get like one at a time. You get a few per tier. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's based on tier. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. So five, six, five, four, and eight. So that is. 12, 19. Oh, it's another 8. Uh, 27, 5, 32. Okay. Story winces. His magic is more powerful than mine, and he doesn't like it. Ha! 
Ah. Simon. I have something. I have something you do not, though, Gothias. I have friends, and they're gonna fuck you up. <laughs> the power of friendship. You're not That's wrong. Fine. I guess I'm gonna full attack on this heart. But you will can... join me in death. Liberate a heart. You're full attacking the heart, okay. Yeah, full attacking the heart. Probably gonna explode in my face. Okay, uh, there's a possible crit there if, uh, 30, if it even oh. can be crit. You can't crit objects. Okay. Alright, I didn't even know if it was an object. I had no idea what the thing was. Oh, don't you do extra damage against objects? Uh, I don't think I have as. Oh, okay. Uh, you would treat like, your object, like yeah. a wall wrecker or something. I probably could have. I didn't, you know. I didn't pick that option. Yet. Okay, so my mind, last attack I always imagined it. it. Smashes into it and it explodes in a ball of black flame and begins tumbling towards the the tower floor and Golthias screams out in terror. No! Master! No! He said this was the master? <laughs> Master's heart. Yeah, it's a that, Shadowlands heart. That is That's the dragon's heart that, that you've been hearing all the lore oh. about. The dragon that terrorized the islands and stole oh, the, okay. the uh, Fist of Mordine from the dwarves oh so long ago and was killed by the uh, Circle of Druids that also killed Golthias when he came to to uh, retrieve his master's heart, but they trapped him in the first world in the shape of a tree where he remained until he was set free by some yeah. plainerly displaced adventurers. The um, you guys. The stake that they used grew into the Gulf Thias tree. Something like that. Yes. Where he returned to this world and continued his evil machinations. But anyway, that's the backstory behind it. We did a lot of story building up to get to this point, but here that's we are. Right. We're on the verge. <laughs> Can you feel it, my brothers? Of course we can. Can you feel it? You did it, Cyber! You did it! You I feel it calling it? to me! You guys watch as the heart falls to the floor and smashes on the uh, stone below. Lucien, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to use a mythic built point and get surprise strike against it. The him. He's so in this the first one this one. For uh, 20, 25. That will no, miss. No, then it's plus my tier, 27. That will miss. Wow. I'm a surgeon? <laughs> Using mystic points. A hit for the first one. For 32? A hit. Yes. Alright, it says 12. Plus 4, right? Yeah, 12, 26. 26 plus 3d6. For 37 for the first one. Now it's in, you added in your sneak attack or what? That's the no. That's with the um, the weapon storm. The three got three blades with it. That three d six. I cast weapon storm. So. Oh, okay. All right. So, so those I think those are individually pieces of damage. So it'd be four six and one. Yeah, four six and one for eleven total. Yeah. If what's the damage type? Is it force? Yes. Okay. Now, it's important to know because there are a lot of defenses going and stuff. Okay. Okay. Because that's right. why I have, to, I have I to get do... the numbers differently. Okay. Gotcha. Now the regular hasted attacks. Boom. Ah. Jeez. <laughs> wow. So that will miss. Uh, roll to confirm. Huh? I know. Roll to confirm.
Okay, so you didn't critical fail. Okay, so I'm assuming the 21 missed. That missed. And then the hasty attack. Alright, then the hasty attack. Just the first one on this one. Alright. 26. I'm assuming that misses. That misses. Alright, in turn. Methander. I'm a little hesitant to shoot him, but I will try. Maybe I won't survive. No, shoot him. Oh, he's you down. Don't that, you don't got that shield up. Yeah, shield's down, is he, baby. Is he, oh, so I'm assuming, is he anchored? Is he flat-footed? No. Oh, Keeps him from anchored. teleporting. Okay. Nice. I will... <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, one of those days. I will use my... Look ability again to maximize the damage. Okay, he's got fifty percent chance to negate crits. He does not negate it. Awesome. Nice. Okay, hat tell us how you finish him off. <laughs> well, I shoot him some bullets in the chest and <laughs> after, after a while he uh, uh he smirks because it doesn't affect him, but then they, they explode and his whole body uh Mm. Spread about uh, above Lucian and the ground. And then I reflex save the guys to the, the gunk. <laughs> Catch no bullets. Catch any magical items I see when I dodge. <laughs> the fu the fu <laughs> bullet has Gothias' name carved in it. And it glows just as he fires. He tumbles to the floor below. <sighs> okay, so uh, knowledge, and I will religion. Do shotgun move. <laughs> With one hand. Knowledge, religion. What do we have to do to permanently kill a vampire? Make sure he stays dead before he turns into mist. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know the standards. Behead yeah. them and stake him. Okay. But it didn't work for the druids, though. <coughs> Anyone? That's else true. I mean, if there's like something mythic about them, um, yeah, you wouldn't exactly no uh 25 yeah you're not certain you just know to yeah. try the standard vampire stuff what if i surge that <laughs> you need to roll a five or a six to get another yeah, question no. okay. okay i'll accept that we'll uh we'll burn him and immerse him in water after staking his heart taking his head off so as you're doing this, in his mouth. Maya walks over to the collapsed and now deflated heart and reaches into the dirt and withdraws oh, a shiny, glowing hammer and holds mm. it up. Mine brothers, can you feel it? Nope. Yes. <laughs> how, did, how did it get in there in the first place then? Yes, we found the hammer. I guess uh, Maya knows how to use that hammer. And as he holds the hammer aloft, you all feel a surge of power as you gain your third mythic tier. Oh, shit. Oh. Snap. Nice. Very nice. Uh, well, it is a Warhammer. Nice. He does use Warhammers, but I mean, he's just, for dramatic effect, he's holding it up. Right. Nice. We get new path ability and new feet. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Always good. Nicely done, gentlemen. Well done. Yeah. You have successfully survived your trek into the heart of the Nightfang Spire. Yeah. We're not out yet. Roll no, credits. Yet. <laughs> no, that, was that was a big boss fight. That was. That was, that was the big boss yet. fight, so you, <laughs> you succeeded at that. Okay, in addition to the uh, the hammer, which was hidden in the soil inside the heart... Um, once you start poking through it, there is 442 platinum pieces, a gold dragon comb with a fire opal eye set into it, a jeweled golden crown, a suit of banded mail that detects his magic, and a shield that detects his magic. That's right up there.
Yep. So you guys are out of uh, combat. I mean, you've effectively destroyed all the menaces on this floor, but there's there are still undead in the entire chasm, and then you know in the upper levels of the tower. Yeah. Um. Yeah, still tower above us. We never explored. So. Yeah. We'll 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 gear on exploring that. Uh, what's one more day? They've already waited a year. Is that what you guys want to do? Go make your way through the tower. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. I also want to search for um, Galthias's, uh repository of spell knowledge. If I can try and. Oh uh, yes. Well, that. his spell book is in the heart. Yes. Oh okay. Cool. Not in the desk. I would have put it in the third drawer of the desk if that was me. But it's not in the desk. You know. He had his soil in the heart, so he kept all. All. Oh stuff. okay. That that was his. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Then. That makes sense. He kept awesome. all of his important items there in the, uh, I in did, the soil. I, I was wondering why it was full of soil. <laughs> <laughs> that answered a lot of questions right there. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Jamie. Nicely done. Well, thank you. Glad you guys enjoyed it. So oh, yeah, he it has a uh, ring of protection plus four wand of lightning bolts, eighth level. Though what he hit you guys with initially were his mythic bolts, but he used yeah. them up. Uh, wand of lightning bolts, changes. eighth level with. 28 charges left. Okay. It, bro- it blinked out. Uh, wand of Lightning Bolt, 8th level, 28 charges left. Oh, okay, 28, okay. Wand of Magic Missile, 7th level, with 43 charges. Oh, wow. One scroll of Fly. Two scrolls of Stone Skin. Oh, Two scrolls of greater invisibility. Oh. I'm sorry and, is inappropriately inappropriately aroused. <laughs> and one <laughs> uh, set of magic goggles. So you have a few items to identify. You can try to identify uh, the Warhammer. So you know what it is. You don't know what it does. Yeah. The goggles. Let's do the goggles. Okay. What's in the goggles? They are goggles of day. Uh, This is a unique item to the adventure. Day. The lenses of this item are made of silvered crystal. When they're placed over the eyes, the wearer can operate without penalty in preternaturally bright light, such as might result from a flare, sunbeam, or sunburst spell. A bonus side effect allows vampires a full round action before dissolution when confronted with sunlight, as opposed to just a partial action. It might be good for uh, Mithander. Do you are you uh, affected by uh, bright lights? Yes, I am. There you go. Okay. Goggles. Okay. Okay. Goggles. Uh, can you can you use them, Phil? You're okay in bright lights, right? Go ahead. It's not your I'm favorite, fine. but you're all right. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I'll add them to the unearthed arcana. Let me check out the. Um, is a hammer. Okay. Hammer of the gods, 26. Mm, I, I don't know if that's going to do it. Uh, I still have three mythic points left, so I'll surge that one. Ah, 28. No. Okay, Probably so not. it is a... Can, I, can we assist him? Uh, why don't you make your own roll? You might... Do better. Yeah, uh, you got a low roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I rolled a five. Oh, I haven't even put points in mine. Now let's go really high. Just I can. Uh, I can always check. We can. Again tomorrow. You can assist. That's the main guys can yeah. Assist. Yeah. Magic uh, items are the next day. I think. Uh, so. Yeah. This might be some kind of lore thing that uh, Maya might know, too. Well, eventually you'll figure Uh it out. So it's a plus two axiomatic Uh drow scourge throwing legendary warhammer. Nice. Of course, we're not supposed to be hanging on to this one. (laughs) No. (laughs) This one controls the uh, the golems, too, right? right? Yes. Nice. At some point, Jamie could, uh, like over the next couple weeks, could you um, 
Just post the spellbook contents? Sure. Excellent. I won't take up your time now with it. It's probably fairly extensive. Snorri would probably keep Gothias' spellbook intact and learn how to cast spells out of it. This is the kind of guy that Snorri would kind of idolize a little bit. Mm. <laughs> game recognized game. That... Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, he was impressed. If it weren't for you guys, it, none of this would have worked. So Snorri was super impressed with Golthias. Yeah, that was a big boss fight. Um, you can roll on the uh, mail and the shield. Okay, sure. Yeah. All right. Is anybody a big armor wearer? No. No. Banded mail is what? It's medium, isn't it? Uh, no, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thirty-seven, and then twenty-three was the shield. I got uh, I got lagged out on this. The, that's why I rolled the other time. So it's a suit of banded mail of luck. And oh, a lion shield. And a flying shield? A lion's shield. Like oh, lion shield. Those, lions. those are great, too. Yeah. I, want, I want to roll up a warrior now. Yeah. <laughs> or a cleric. Like I almost yeah. want to download a paladin. You said suit of banded what? You banded male of luck. Uh, banded male of luck. Male. Okay. I just realized that my armor is on the defiant. That's right. Oh. It is undead defiant. <laughs> so it pays to keep up with your, your trinkets. Most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, we almost forgot about the death war. Yeah, that Which was a lifesaver, literally. Yeah. yeah Lucy was about to get smizoke. What about that jewel that he had? That jewel What's something? your appraisal? Oh, just valuable. Okay. Yeah, there's a golden yeah. crown and a. What's your appraisal? Uh, uh, I think mine's only plus seven. Trees. Yeah, plus I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Mine's plus seven. Oh, we got 26. We got my max it out. Got 20 on that one. And that, one on that. That's a DM <laughs> roll for appraisal. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, so uh, you think they're valuable, but you're not sure how valuable the the comb and the uh, crown. You we'll need get somebody to them. need to get somebody to appraise them for you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll give you a roll. What's the what's your bonus? Oh, is that it? Okay, I think it's like seven. Seven. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you're not sure. Certain. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, you guys can plan to uh, make your way into the upper tower next time and progress from there. Is I'll there leave like it to you to do what you're going to do. I think you guys leveled. Like you haven't actually <laughs> rested. You know, you leveled like a session back or so, didn't you? Oh, did we? I haven't been keeping track. Or did you Did you already rest? I don't know. I know you leveled. No, the other group. No, no we did. No, what what level is there, buddy? You didn't give us points for the last encounter. Yeah. Oh, are we supposed to see level higher? Because I, yeah, yeah I'm at we level didn't, 11 we right didn't now. Get points. Yeah. We didn't, get, we didn't get points for the last encounter in this group. Uh, last time, I don't think you did yeah, anything I, last time. Didn't, didn't yeah, do much I, a last group, our uh, Friday group leveled, but we didn't okay. get points on this one. Well, must maybe be, we leveled. You must be misremembering. So we got okay. double. We got double mid points That's coming. <laughs> Okay, six mythic levels. Holy shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, well, you didn't have much of an encounter last time, so it wasn't, wasn't much of anything. But that'll be added to this. Okay. But you okay. got your third mythic tier, which is a big thing. Huge. Yeah. Which means we're moving into the, the final book of the adventure. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you guys are going up the tower first, but after that... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that 100% cool, right. Well, somebody wanted to um, 
use the tower after we were done, right? Somebody mentioned that. Was it Sizel? Yeah, Sizel. She said she could rent it out to somebody. Yeah, I know some yeah. necromancers, yeah. you know. And you, and you know what? If it wasn't for Sizel, we wouldn't have Maya. And if it wasn't for Maya, we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of stuff. So it was important. So we'll do her a favor back. Plus, it shouldn't take us more than one more day. And plus, if uh, we gain a level, I can just teleport us back there. So we yeah. don't have to walk through. Well, I mean, I don't know if you did or not, but I'll, I'll post the XP up. Yeah. yeah, if we did. I'm planning on uh, teleport as the next level spell. Okay, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Certainly did. Of course we did. We'll oh, pick yeah, up yeah. in two weeks. Yep. Hope you enjoyed your your big big bad evil guy battle. It was good. He Very was good. properly buffed, yeah. so you never know how those are going to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it, it didn't end it in two rounds. Yeah. It was. Uh, I didn't know we were going to be able to get to him. Yeah. Three hour fight, basically. Yeah. Between that dimensional anchor was a good call. That's a good call. Thank you. Yeah, it was. I had, to had that one in his pocket. In, had that one in my back pocket the whole time, but I had to get rid of the. Um, that was a the good global call. vulnerability first. Oh yeah. You guys, you guys did well after you, uh, after you got organized. Mm. Well, it's always tough when you get that initial rush and everything's around. Yeah, you're not sure what you focus on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, have a good week. Yeah. Happy Easter, right. everybody. See you next time. Good night, everybody. Yeah, good game, Jamie. Well done. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks Glad you enjoyed it.